Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. We're going to be solving question 34 from the first chapter of the Beer and Johnson textbook. And we have a 240k force P that is applied to the granite block. As we can see, we need to determine the resulting maximum value of the A part normal stress. And in the B part, we need to find the maximum value of the shearing stress. We need to specify the orientation of the plane on which of these maximum values occur so we solved the similar question which was question 33 uh, in the previous video and basically we figure out uh, when actually these maximum values happen and in here we know if we want to have the maximum value of the normal stress happen so what we did is that we can consider or assume an orientation of the theta in here in our block and since we have this force p in here if we dissolve that force into two components one perpendicular and the other one parallel to that surface this angle will be theta so the perpendicular would be p cosine of theta and the parallel force would be p sine of theta so if we want to find the general formula for finding these two so for normal stress we basically have p cosine of theta over the surface that we have or the surface in here let's call it a prime and the other surface that we have which is what we have in here is the surface perpendicular to p which we can call it a which is this surface in here a so if we want to find the normal stress we have p cosine of theta over a prime and for shearing stress uh, we're going to have p sine of theta because that's our shearing force over the same surface a prime and if we want to find the relationship between a and a prime if we do the cosine of theta in this right triangle that we have so for cosine of theta we have adjacent which is a over hypotenuse a prime so a prime in here would be a over cosine of theta so if we plug this into these two equations from the first one the cosine of theta can go to the top of the ratio we have p times cosine of theta times cosine of theta or cosine squared of theta over a and in here uh, we have the same thing the cosine goes to the numerator we have p sine of theta times cosine of theta over a so these are two general formulas that we have for finding the normal stress and the shearing stress but what the question is asking is when we're going to have the maximum value of these or at what at, or at which angle we have the maximum value for each of these two so what we're going to do in here is that we're going to do the derivative of uh, normal stress over theta and if we put that equal to zero we should be able to one theta and we're going to do the same thing in here the derivative of shearing stress over theta is equal to zero and at the end of this we're going to get two different angles so if we do that we showed in the previous question what we're going to get at the end of this so for normal stress we see that this is going to happen when we have the angle zero degrees and for shearing stress the maximum is going to happen when we have our theta equal to 45 degrees so we can keep these two conditions in our mind for uh, similar questions we don't need to go through this uh, derivative each time but this is where it's coming from and those two angles that we have is actually coming from these two so now that we know this is how this happens if we put theta in this formula we get the maximum for uh, normal stress cosine squared of zero we know cosine of zero is one so basically we have p over a from the question we know p is 240 kips and the area is pretty simple we have six times six the area of the a that we have so 36 let's just calculate this 240 divided by 36 is going to give us 6.66 repeating or 67 and keep in mind that the force is in compression it's going to compress the block so we usually put a negative sign in here to show the compression and since we have kips over inches squared that's going to be in case of and for the maximum of the shearing stress as i said we have when we have a theta is equal to 45 so we have p sine of 45 degrees times cosine of 45 degrees over a same a we have 36 our p is also the same 240 ksi 
and sine of 45 times cosine of 45 is going to be 0.5 so we'll have 120 divided by 36 so 3.33 ksi as for the maximum value of the shearing stress so yeah that's pretty much everything for this one hope everything was clear let me know if you have any questions we are solving different textbooks in this channel uh feel free to check out the playlist and let me know if you have any specific problem that you want me to cover in the next videos and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one